Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Andrew, here. Today I'm doing my full review on the all new Asus X205 TA laptop. All right, let's get started. Budget laptops are becoming more popular than ever, and this is no exception. This is the Asus X205 TA that retails for 229 US. This model features the Intel Adom Z3735F clocked at 1.33 GHz, 2 GB of DDR3 memory. For your storage, you have a 32 GB of eMMC flash. For wireless connectivity, you get an 802.11ab GNN plus Bluetooth 4.0, an 11.6 inch display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 and for the operating system, you have Microsoft Windows 8.1 with Bing. And just for a brief comparison, I'll also compare this laptop and the HP Stream 11 to give you an idea of which one works better. Let's go ahead and kick off this review by talking about the design and build quality of the all-new Asus X205 TA. On the exterior, you got a dark blue plastic finish that feels pretty durable considering its price range. Here goes the bottom plate. The interior also features a navy blue finish with a black chiclet style keyboard. The weight of this laptop comes in at 2.2 pounds and measures 0.69 inches thick. The left side of the laptop features your AC charging port, micro SD card slot, micro HDMI port, and your headset microphone jack combo. On the back side you have these two plastic pins that pop out, just be careful when laying this laptop on the table as you might get some scratches. So how do these ports compare to the HP Stream that I recently reviewed? First of all you get the full size SD card slot on the HP compared to the micro SD card slot on the Asus. And second of all, the ASUS features a micro HDMI port compared to the HP Stream 11 which features a full size HDMI port. With a full size SD card reader and HDMI port on the HP Stream 11, it just makes it less of a hassle in keeping track of adapters. Next up is our boot up test against the ASUS X205 TA and the HP Stream 11. Alright, let's get this party started. Uh oh, we got the ASUS logo now. Followed by the HP. The ASUS is logging in now followed by the HP, and the ASUS booted up in about 19 to 20 seconds. And the HP booted up in around 25 seconds, so the winner goes to the ASUS X205 TA. Both of these laptops feature an 11.6 inch display with a resolution of 1366 by 768. The biggest difference between these two panels is the ASUS has a glossy display, and the HP Stream 11 has a matte display. Both units had terrible color accuracy and contrast ratios, however the slight edge goes to the ASUS X205 TA. Let me scroll through some of these images to let you compare. As you can see here, the ASUS has a sharper and brighter clearer image. The color accuracy on the ASUS X205 TA is slightly better than the HP as well. Take a look at this image right here. It's much better on the ASUS. Now we're going to test out the tilt and viewing angles by tilting the display all the way back. And that's at 100% on both units. For the Spider 4 Pro colorimeter, I got a score of 63% for the Adobe sRGB. And for the Adobe RGB, I got a score of 48%. Now we're going to test out the keyboard flex on ASUS X205 TA. Let me go and press down firmly. As you can see, the 205 exhibits a lot of keyboard flex. So how does that compare to the HP Stream 11 keyboard flex? As you can see here, they are pretty similar in terms of keyboard flex. The trackpad is designed and engineered by ASUS, and I gotta say, I've been pretty impressed with the trackpad. Let me give you a demo of the trackpad in action. Let's go ahead and launch the MSN website and test out the two-finger scrolling. So far, very smooth and precise. Take a look at that. Multi-touch has been surprisingly very smooth and efficient. Usually with these low-end budget laptops, I wouldn't expect much from the trackpad. But this ASUS is an exception. Overall, highly impressive. Diving into keyboard performance now, this laptop features a standard black chiclet style keyboard. The key travel and tactile feedback on this keyboard were good. However, compared to the HP Stream 11, it just felt more comfortable. The processor powering this laptop is the Intel Adom Z3735F, which is a quad-core processor clocked at 1.33 GHz with a boost up to 1.83 GHz. For basic productivity like browsing the web, Microsoft Office, watching Netflix videos, this processor ran without any hiccups. And to back that up, let's go and take a look at some Geekbench 3 performance scores. This is the 32-bit version. For the single-core score, I got 773, and for the multi-core score, I got 2200. So how does this quad-core Intel Adon processor compare to the dual-core Intel Celeron N2840 found in the HP Stream 11? For single-core performance, I got a score of 900, and for the multi-core performance, I got a score of 1,482. As you can see here, the single-core performance of the HP Stream 11 is slightly better than the ASUS X205 TA, but the multi-core performance of the ASUS X205 TA is much faster than the HP Stream 11. Now we're going to test out the Intel HD graphics, which is based on the Baytrail architecture. For this test, we're going to use Minecraft with Optifine installed. With Optifine installed, it makes a world of a difference in terms of performance. 
As you can see here, Minecraft is playable on this laptop with an average of 35 to 45 frames per second, but some scenes will dip to around 15 to 25 frames per second. Also keep in mind this recording is based on Mineplex, which puts a little bit more pressure on your graphics card. Now let's test out single player performance with Minecraft. As you can see here, it's running a little bit smoother. We're averaging around 55 frames per second, and we just dipped down to around 20. So far, it's pretty playable. So those of you that are planning on buying this laptop just for Minecraft, make sure you download Optifine and install it in your profile to get better performance. Next up, let's test out the performance of the 32GB eMMC flash storage. For the sequential read speed, I got a score of 88.32 megabytes a second, and for the sequential write speed, I got 53.53 megabytes a second. I was a little disappointed that these speeds did not match the HP Stream 11, which was double the performance of this one. With that being said, this flash drive is slightly faster than a traditional 5400 RPM hard drive. After installing Minecraft and a couple of benchmarking software, I'm left with around 12.8GB free on the eMMC flash drive. Battery life has been highly impressive thanks to the power efficient Intel Adon processor. On average, I'm able to get around 10 to 11 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 70%. That puts a big smackdown on HP Stream 11, which gave me around 6 to 7 hours out of a full charge. This laptop has two bottom facing speakers, and to be honest, the sound quality is less than average compared to the HP Stream 11, which sound way better. The Broadcom 802.11 A, B, G, and N wireless card has been performing flawlessly without any issues. Overall, solid connection. For a laptop that costs under $229 US, you get a solid budget laptop that can run your basic productivity applications with ease. The downsides to this laptop is the micro SD card slot and the micro HDMI port. Quite frankly, I would have just preferred the standard size. However, with the price tag of $229 or less, I can live with those compromises. Alright, this completes my full review on the all-new ASUS X205TA laptop. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the latest videos just like this one. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.